Hi, I'm Dr. Christina Hahn, Dermatologist and Medical Director at Zion Health. And I'm Lily, Editor of the Zion Medical Library. Today we have a great topic for you. It's a question that a lot of our followers and patients ask us about. What really is the difference between an ass drive versus two chest drive? Stay tuned to find out more. If you're considering treating your hair loss, you may have narrowed down your choices to finasteride or dutasteride. Now they're very similar medications and so it can be difficult to know which one is right for you. In this video, we'll provide you with a rundown of the main differences between using finasteride versus dutasteride for hair loss, talk about differences in side effects between these medications, as well as cover any cost or dosage considerations. When comparing finasteride versus dutasteride for hair loss, can we definitively say one is better than the other? While there isn't much research to know for sure the answer to this question, but we do know that dutasteride is much more potent than finasteride and can reduce DHT levels by about 90% compared to finasteride, which reduces DHT by about 60 to 70 percent. For this reason, you might see results a little bit faster when using dutasteride. Um, ultimately, uh, your doctor will consider a couple different things when trying to make the decision between prescribing the finasteride versus dutasteride. And some of these considerations can include whether you've already tried finasteride in the past and not seen good results, or if you might have an allergy or intolerance to finasteride. You might be wondering about the side effect profile. Are finasteride versus dutasteride side effects the same? Well, these are very related drugs, and so the side effect profile is very similar. However, some clinical studies do suggest that dutasteride may have slightly increased side effects due to its more potent effects on DHT levels. As a reminder, these shared side effects include erectile dysfunction, decreased sex drive, reduced sperm count and other ejaculatory disorders, testicular pain or tenderness, as well as breast tenderness or swelling. In general, these side effects are uncommon, but research tells us that if you are experiencing side effects, they're typically self-limiting and resolve on their own over time. And what about finasteride versus dutasteride cost considerations? There are branded and generic versions available for both medications. In general, generic versions will cost a bit less. Of the two, generic dutasteride will still be the slightly pricier option, and there are a few reasons for this, including regional differences in pricing, research and development, manufacturing costs, and the drug's uniqueness. The good news is that these costs may change in the future. If you've got health insurance, out-of-pocket expenses for either of these medications may be significantly lower. If you're not sure, reach out to your health insurance provider to find out more. How about dosing? Are there any differences in the dosages of finasteride versus dutasteride? Well, to answer this question, remember that finasteride is FDA approved for male pattern hair loss at a dose of one milligram once daily. Dutasteride, on the other hand, is not officially FDA approved, but is used commonly by physicians as an off-label option to treat male pattern hair loss. The typical dose here for dutasteride is 0.5 milligrams, which is half the amount, and can be even dosed not every day, but several times a week. And this is related to the increased potency of dutasteride on DHT. Lastly, let's just make sure we talk about any differences in indication. Do finasteride and dutasteride treat the same medical conditions? Both of these medications come up in the context of treating male pattern hair loss and a separate condition called benign prostatic hyperplasia. Where they differ is in the sense that finasteride is FDA approved for both of these indications, where dutasteride is only FDA approved to treat BPH. However, you can still get dutasteride prescribed off-label to treat hair loss. Hopefully now you have some more insights into the differences between finasteride and dutasteride. The key takeaways are that dutasteride may be more potent and can also cost a bit more, but both finasteride and dutasteride are similar medications with a similar side effect profile. And when it comes to how these medications are used, remember that only finasteride is FDA approved to treat hair loss, but you can still get dutasteride prescribed off-label on a case-by-case -case basis. If you have any questions or concerns about what your options are for treating hair loss, or whether finasteride versus dutasteride might be a better option, we highly recommend that you reach out to your doctor. 
That's all for today, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. We like to talk about anything that's based on science in the hair space, wellness, and more. Let us know what you'd like to hear about next. Until next time.